Good morning all. Uh, my name's Matt, welcome to my channel. Um, it's a Sunday morning, it's early. Um, always a coffee, wake myself up. Uh, thank you for popping along. Um, for those who have decided or decided to stay or, or um, can't be bothered to unsubscribe me. Thank you very much. Um, for those that have gone, they probably won't see this. Might be back if you're back. Welcome back. I'm back. Uh, tough times. Um, we are on to a Iron Man build, and everything's printed. I've got the base primer, which we're going to do in this section. Um, this series of videos, which is um, one of probably 114. Uh, my wife's picture is very good. Um, she doesn't come in here much, but she, when she does, she does a good job. Yeah. Right, so Iron Man build. I'm going to turn this camera around. And we'll have a look. So this is the base. Um, base comes in <clears throat> two sections. Excuse me. Two sections. Um, this bit is metallic, and it says on the front, see, Iron Man. Um, this is by Wicked, who are. Wicked. Um, the detail in the back has to be remade with copper wire and is a pain in the arse. Um, and that is the top part, which is all rocks and stuff, which are primed and ready to go. So that's in this section, and that slots on. Something like that. Okay. Now, there's two characters on this this project, and one of them is Iron Manga. So that's Struggling. Struggling. Come on. No, you want to. Right. So that's the legs. Iron Monger. And we have the body somewhere. Uh, packaged away. Which looks like that. Ready to be primed. Like that, and then Iron Man on top. Something like that. Okay. Yep. Right. So I'm gonna have to go off and get some water and brushes and stuff, and I'll make a start. Just gonna use base color of. Uh, dark gunmetal and bring it up to kind of a, a silvery ish. And there's chainmail. Probably won't go any higher than that. Um, and pick off some highlights with some silver. 
somewhere um, and stuff. Um, now this is the new Game Cover Formula and it's quite running. So there's no watering down on this. I just want to get in everywhere, really. I'm not exactly doing brush strokes on this bit, it's just dabbing the paint on there and letting it go where it wants to. Um, for those who have problems with brush strokes, then just go in messy. Larger areas are um, a bit more a problem, a bit more of a problem. But um, let's see how we go. Right, so I'm just going to circles. Which is one way we can eliminate brush strokes. Uh, working quickly also eliminates brush strokes. Just on that. That's the first layer, I'm going to leave this to dry and wash my brush out and come back to it a bit later on.
No, this is um, back to the metallic base for the Ironman. Um, this is the color is Chainmail, and I just want to brush it over the the tops of everything loosely, just to. Highlight a little bit like that. Okay. So we're building up in stages. looks rough and that's what I want and I don't care because there's some purists out there which will go to whatever links they have to make sure everything's masked up and spray and took care at the moment to be fair Right, so I quickly did that. That took uh, literally two minutes. And that's all I wanted to do. On that part, it looks brushed, it looks weathered, and I'm happy. Right, second piece. Uh, most of this is rock. So I'm going to use uh, my rock technique. Um, we'll start off with neutral grey. Gonna loosely put this on and get to so get your big brush. This and we are going to hit it like that. Anybody want a dog? Because my dog keeps barking. I've had enough. So. Down. We're leaving the gaps because we want the gaps. All the way down. So not dry brushing but with a big flat brush and dragging it down it uh, it highlights the areas Still leaves a bit of shadow. Um, a bit too much on my brush. No, right, so we're going down like this.
doing stage one. Moves a bit like that. There are those top areas. There's top areas which look like that one, that one, that one looks like tarmac. That also looks like tarmac and I've painted it not a problem. In the back, Can get this one back. Sure. It looks okay. Right, so that's step one. Let's try for a little bit. Come back. Step two on the rocks is cold grey. It's got a bit of a brown tint to it. Um, so get our brush and just take it across the top of. The edges like that. Down strokes, down and across, I'd say. Down, like that. Across like that. Try not to try brush this at all because when I try brush, and you probably know yourself, when you try brush, it gets very chalky and there's dust absolutely everywhere. So, this is wet, wet on wet, probably. Like that and get ready for step three which is stonewall grey Still not using the dry brush, I'm still using the big brush. So there's not much on there. And 
going to start from the top and highlight everything. Just down strokes, nothing else, just down strokes, everything. Okay, so step three, and final highlight with some ghost grey. Take a bit off with the, the kitchen room. Um, this is basically drag across the top of the if you see that. That's all I want on there. Drag across.
Right, I think that is that bit done. Oh, I'm hungry. And there, we've got, got some of it. Mm. to do tarmac on the let's put this back uh, swoshy rushy out uh, we're gonna use a brand I used to start used to start painting with uh, I started using <coughs> a brand that I started to use and I started painting, which is humble. Uh, it's the nearest thing that you're going to get to um, tarmac colour, so that's what we're going to use today. This is straight from the pot, as you just seen. Not doing anything with it. Work because this is a plateau on this bit. We're going to work out to the edge and not in. One side and the other side, this side. on that bit like that. Highlighting some of this black tar stuff with a bit of green into the mix. Um, this is very black and very greeny. Um, very disgusting and dirty. You see there? It's disgusting and dirty. It looks like mold and dirt. this on a little bit yep so Usual joke when an ambulance goes past is he uh, isn't going to sell mini ice creams going that fast. Uh, thank you, 
walking my wires. Um, I actually, my day job, I work across the way from the ambulance state sent ambulance station and we hear that all day long and that is the joke all day long okay i'm gonna leave that tarmac to dry and the rocks to dry i gotta sort out the color for this <coughs> This colour, German black brown, is a nice colour. Let me try and just see if I left any of my metallics in this brush, because that's what I use last. Um, I won't change it. I won't I'll be changing it, I mean. Um, It's not thin enough. Damn it. Right. So this is a good base colour for rust. If anybody used it for rust, I think it comes in the Vallejo rust paint set. Sorry, I had to get the back pit. I need to highlight that. That tarmac a little bit more. Don't like it.
A bit of neutral grey, just to hit the top. Okay, I've got to do something about that. this man on cover. I need to bring that out a lot and I need to wait for that to dry before I can do the next part. First washes I want to do on this is on the tarmac. I get this out of the way and then we can go and do something else for a bit. Okay, so this is Black Lotus by Vallejo, which is not black, it's blue. Um, you could use non oil by Citadel, but if you do, your colour will go dead. So this is going up on the top tarmac as I said like this and you want it to get into every crack possible like so and if we want it to we've got it in the too much in the wrong place take a bit of damp tissue and sponge it back off Easy peasy. Same across there. And there. And across there.
increase the definition of the cracks that we've got up there. A bit later we can always put some fin fin down black paint on it. Um that is that. Okay. So wait for that to dry. Still wait for that to dry. I do want to make that lighter. And I have some light rust there. And I don't want to use too much. Let's see what happens with this. I'm going to pick up on these letters because it says City of LA on it and and there it says I don't know I think it says made in Mexico Bit like that. Wash is drying nicely there. Um, there's a little bit of detail that I got to put in, which is that pipe there. Um, I am going to use dark grey, dark blue grey.
not uh, painting everything on this. Got to leave some shadows in there, aren't we? And the shadows are already there because they're, they've been they've been primed. So. I'm adding a bit of um, neutral grey to the mix and highlighting it a little bit and picking off the edges. This is going to get messy. Because if you're doing rocks, this is your killer move. This is our Grax Earth Shade by Citadel. Grab yourself a big brush. We're going in heavy. Um, heavy. It's a 50 50 mix. Okay. <clears throat> this needs to go absolute everywhere. And where it sits is up to this stuff. And just let it fall. it on we're just dropping it on if I had a big bucket of this stuff I would drop this whole piece inside
Scattered. I'll put it all away later. <clears throat> okay. So it's our base uh, finished, put it together and washed with Agrax and it was too light. So I mixed up some uh, cavalry brain, watered it down as a wash. That's why there's a bit of red tints there, which I like. And it still wasn't not how I wanted it, so I got some non-oil and put it on and sponged it off and it's dark and it's nice i like it uh, fireman a bit of gold on there just to come out nice and that's that okay this is the end of the section i've got the I'm hungry to, to build next. This is a, I'll see you on the next one.